everybody, I just wanted to plug in here that Vindication Episode 17 is coming along pretty good. I don't think it's realistic to get it out by Sunday, but I am still trying my absolute best. But it's more looking like it's going to be released on Monday through Wednesday, so it's going to just depend on the editing time and things of that nature. But we're working really hard on it, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Just hang in there. We're almost there, man. Vindication 17 coming very, very soon, but I don't think it will be posted this weekend like I originally thought. But we're working hard, man. But let's get into action figure surgery and stay Stay tuned for Vindication 17. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with WWE Action Figure Surgery, man. We got Elite Series 88 in the house. We got some top picks. We got some good stuff going on, man, that I am very excited about. We got some unusual characters today in the lineup, as you guys will see in the very middle. But a lot of stuff going on. Actually, today, like, it probably could be an appointment, to be honest with you. I don't know how long the episode will be, but a lot of this stuff with the new like interchangeable head sculpts and making it where we don't have to apply heat it's actually gonna call like today is a little bit of a different day of surgery and you guys will understand what i mean once we get into it a lot of like regular switches a lot of stuff that won't require a ton of heat it's really nice it's kind of a breath of fresh air we don't have to worry about melting torsos around here we don't have to worry about cracking skulls and melting torsos and flesh and blood and skin so it's a really good day here today man and i i saw uh, there was somebody that commented we have come to terms with the release of the trusty white hair dryer, which I thought was very hilarious because you guys know that Mattel has started to implement the interchangeable heads like we just said, or, or not interchangeable necessarily, but you can pop the head sculpt off without very much effort there, and it's very, very nice, man. You don't have to heat them up anymore. You don't have to boil them. You don't have to hair dryer them, so it's a very big deal, and it makes me very excited for Elite Series 100 once we get there because I have a feeling we're going to get some crazy stuff for that wave, and interchangeable heads sounds really nice. Double jointed arms like that wave better blow my effing mind across my face. Anyways, let's dive into it, man. As you guys can see, we got a lot of stuff going on here today, so we're gonna shut the hell up and dive into it. As you will see on the stretcher, we do have Roman football reigns, Brad, and I can finally do it. Everyone said I was an idiot. A lot of people told me that I couldn't do it, and I'm about to do it here today, Brad. I'm about to break the entire internet when I give you guys the dual gold gauntlet Roman reigns. I don't know why people told me I could not do it, but I'm gonna show you how to do it here today. So we're going to make dual gauntlet, gold gauntlet, I should say, Roman Reigns. I wanted to switch the boots on the dual gold gauntlets, Roman Reigns, but there's not a ton of options, really. You don't have a lot of options when it comes to this boot mold. We don't get a lot, so uh, tough shit. Next up, I was going to include Trish Stratus, but I didn't know what to do with it, but then I figured it out, and I figured we could go ahead and knock this one out. All you got to do is dump out your trash can accessory and just plant her skull straight in there. Great fix up for the Trish Stratus Elite Series 8. Probably the worst figure of the year. We'll have to find out at the end, but really, really plain Jane. Lots of things about that figure. We'll see once we cover the worst figures of the year. One of my favorite videos of the year, and we'll get into it, but the Universal Championship was chilling with the with the Tribal Chiefs, so we can knock that out. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, you're probably wondering why Scream is right here, and that is actually a good a good uh, little question there, Brad. So this is the NECA Scream figure. So yes, we have Ghostface here today, and uh, uh, if you guys know this figure, you have these figures. Their heads are in a and if you guys did not know, AEW figureheads are interchangeable. So I was thinking maybe we could, uh, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I just wanted to test and see if you could interchange some figures heads onto the screen body. Because I don't know, maybe something will happen in the pick fed. You know, you never know You never know what could take place. So I wanted to uh, switch that, see what's possible, and just kind of see what's going on. So we have Ghostface in the house, and I wanted to test out the Kenny Omega. Just because, you know, he's kind of a main character of the fed. And I figured uh, we could try and switch those heads or see what we could go there so that is a really nice one next up guys we do have the elite 88 mvp and today man we're gonna try and put him in this blue suit and if you guys are wondering about the height of the figure look at that they're pretty much the same height and if you want to get the wwe champion bobby lashley involved they're pretty close in height there so he may be slightly taller once we switch the head sculpt but they're both 6'3 and it doesn't bother me that much so we're gonna try and put mvp in a suited body and just kind of see how that goes hopefully that all turns out we also have Rey mysterio in the house and for Rey mysterio man what I'm going to do is I'm going to put AJ Styles red gloves on here and it may look dumb but uh, I wanted to attempt it anyway. I figured it was a really good fix up. I have these red gloves down here. We're going to put these red gloves on here and we're also going to take these gloves and put them into this Seth Rollins to make like a fantasy gear Seth Rollins with gloves. I just want to see what it looks like so we're going to we're going to pair that together see what comes of it and everything like that. So we're switching some hands over here seeing what that looks like. We also have quite a few number of figures also left. We have this head 
headless Seth Rollins, and we have this Seth Rollins, and I want to put this head, since this body's like completely broken down, figured I could just pop this head sculpt over here and uh, make this figure complete. It's one of my like fantasy gear Seth Rollins that we made on surgery before. Really cool looking figure. Figured uh, it's about time to give him a head sculpt, so we'll give him a head sculpt. We also have Matthew Riddle from Elite Series 88, or, or Riddle. They put Riddle on it. I know it's been that way for a while, but today, guys, I'm going to take the basic head sculpt and put that on there just to see what it looks like. I mean, this head sculpt may be better, but I kind of just want to see and test the waters and see what the basic head sculpt looks like on there. It may look like trash, but it may also be fire, so I'm going to go, I'm going to do that switch, see what it looks like, and maybe it won't be complete buns. Outside of that, ladies and gentlemen, you're probably wondering why the hell we have Jericho and Kushida left here and what we're going to do with them. I'm going to take this shirt and put it on that Jericho, and honestly, I just kind of want to see what it looks like. It kind of reminded me of like a Jericho type shirt. I almost tried Elias, but I kind of want to see what it looks like on the Jericho figure. And not only that, I have three pairs of sunglasses right here that we're going to test out on the Jericho once we get the shirt on there. It's going to look very similar to the Chase variant, and it's also going to look like a bunch of upcoming Jerichos. And I just kind of wanted to play the field, see what happens with it, and hopefully it won't be, you know, just solid trash. But that is all the stuff we have on surgery today, man. Again, not a lot of like overall work, like craziness, but it should be pretty fun with all the fix ups and swappages we're going to do. So, with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive into surgery and get started. So, honestly, guys, I don't even know what to start with, but uh, yeah, because uh, again, a lot of this stuff is interchangeable. But I guess what we can do is start off with Matt Riddle and Seth Rollins since they're going to require some heat. So, we have Matt Riddle right here and we have our Seth Rollins. So, we do have to heat up this head sculpt and this head sculpt. We don't have to heat up these again. Uh, we are going to remove the hat there. And all you have to do for the Matt Riddle is literally just pop the head sculpt off. So, that's really cool. We'll put him on the stretcher for now. And then this figure can chill up here because all we have to do is heat up both of these heads and plop them onto their respective bodies. Shouldn't be a difficult thing whatsoever. Should be really cool and easy. So I'm just going to plug that right there. And the white trusty hair dryer is ready to go. Hopefully this will be, a, a, again, a very easy thing. I don't want to melt anything and uh, hopefully that will hold up. But uh, I do want to get this on camera, a little beamage action. But uh, let's go ahead and hit it. All right, Bradley, let's see what we can get going right here. I don't even know if we have, uh, you know, white trusty hair dryer. I don't even know if that's going to be a thing for the rest of the episode. But uh, let's go ahead and plop this basic head onto Matt Riddle. And hopefully this will be good. Speaking of which, all right, we'll look at that at the end. You guys heard the ploppage. But speaking of which, I also want to test the hat on here. You guys can check that out at the end. However, for the Seth Rollins, speaking of which... Woo wait! I tried to uh you guys know the Survivor Series Bailey, right? Survivor Series Bailey figure. I was gonna put her on here and head swap her figure with the Elite 80. And I started to like pull at the Survivor Series head because I was like, oh, maybe the Elite 80 or maybe maybe the Survivor Series elites are interchangeable like the Elite 88 heads. So I started pulling it and it started coming and I was like, oh my god, it is, and it just snapped off the peg and it broke it. And it was like, oh, I guess it doesn't switch easily. Uh uh, let's move on to the next fix-up, shall we? Seth Rollins is, is going to be uh, pretty cool, hopefully. So Matt Riddle and Seth Rollins can take a sat, and we'll come back to them at the very end there, Brad. And we are moving on forward, headless, just a, just a head sculpt of Matt Riddle chilling over there. However, moving on to our next portion, I guess we can dive into Sethel and Rey Mysterio. Now, this should be relatively, again, the rest of the fix-ups, I think, are very easily. So uh, hopefully that will be the case here. But moving on, ladies and gentlemen, let's pop out the skin tone hands of the Seth Rollins and it's kind of just nice not to have to involve the white trusty hair dryer I know he's frowning over there but you know Brad sometimes it's nice to not burn alive and pop my fingers and stuff like that but there is that we're also going to pop the AJ glove in here hands are probably going to be too big and the reds don't match entirely great but I did just want to test this see what it looks like and again if it looks like absolute garb then it looks like absolute garb but maybe you guys would want to try this fix up yourselves but there's Ray Mysterio we'll take a closer look at him at the end and then we also have Seth Rollins right here, in which we are going to plug in the black gloved hands. A lot of people give me ish for using these hands for AJ Styles, but I think it doesn't look that bad, especially the white gloves. But there's Seth Rollins. We'll take a closer look at him at the end as well. It just kind of gives the figures a different look. I don't know, Brad. You, you let me know down in the comment section below. The interchangeable hands and interchangeable head sculpts is just 
freaking gorgeous, man. Next up, we are moving things on to Chris Jericho and Kushida here. Now, I feel bad for Kushida because he's about to lose all of his gear, man. Th speaking of which, this figure is effing fantastic. I love this Kushida figure. It came in at number two in the Elite 88 ranking, but it is a damn good figure, man. What a great figure, and this may even, this may look god. I, I feel bad for Kushida because he's not even getting a cool fix up maybe one day, Brad, but uh, I did want to plop this on the Jericho. Again, it may be garb. It may not even work out good, but I wanted to test it. You know, I just wanted to test it, see what it comes of it, and again, it may look just the worst thing you've ever seen, but it could be fire, and if it ends up being fire, then who's the genius, Brad? Me. But who's the idiot if it goes south? Also me. So here's the Jericho figure. We'll take a closer look at the end, and I'll give you guys the different sunglasses options, but this thing's actually a little bit baggier than I expected it to be on this big AEW figure body, but uh, again, we will look at it at the end. You guys can give me your thoughts and opinions on it. I also have a video coming up where we're going to try like different accessories on different figures like cloth accessories and kind of giving people different looks and you guys can let me know what you think of that and everything like that but uh, we'll look at Jericho at the end with the rest of our business. Alright guys moving on we are going into MVP and our suited Superman Clark Kent freaking idiot. All we're gonna do is literally pop the head sculpt off, and I know the neck will not be painted. I know it, alright? I know the neck won't be painted, but that's just something we're gonna have to get over and build a bridge on. So the first thing we're gonna do is pop the hands out and pop in these MVP skin tone hands, and then we're gonna pop this over here. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it this way, so I don't know if I'm gonna paint the neck or not, but uh, easy right there. You got the one, you got the two hands switched out, and then the MVP head sculpt should go right on here and hopefully it won't look too freaking bad. All right, we'll take a look at that with the WWE Champion at the end. Kind of like in the way, uh, you know, some special going on there, young man. Again, a lot of like weird things on this episode of surgery, but pretty fun. Like the way you can just kind of snap and build is, is really, really nice. Let's see if the Clark Kent head will go on the MVP and huh, not good. All right, Brad, so we're moving on to our last two pieces here. And the next one we're gonna move on to is Scream slash ghost face and Kenny Omega. So we're going to slide the hood off. They do have it like this black hood like molded over it. You pop the head off there and here's the Kenny head. We could pop that off right there. I don't know how well this is going to go on here. It may not go on here at all, but I did want to test it just, you know, just for issues and gigs. It looks like it'll fit. Um, hmm. I don't know. The, the peg hole may need to be slightly heated up or something. I don't want to like break the head or anything like that. Let's, uh, let me test a different head. So this is my custom head sculpt that I got from BEW and and let's see here. Oh, the freaking paint's chipping off. Yeah. All right, this one has like a casted little thing right here. So, oh snap. That goes on there pretty freaking good, man. Look at that. That's pretty freaking cool. Kenny Omega in the ghost face gear. We can take a look at that in a second, but uh, you could put the hood up as well. Oh snap, you can even put the hood up. Ooh, boy, that's looking pretty fireific right there, Brad. Oh snap, we may have a something. We, have a, we may have a lot of something special going on there, young man. That's pretty interesting. Take a closer look at the in there and I guess we could go ahead and try to put the ghost face head onto the Kenny Omega body just for again shishes and gigs um so yeah there you go Woo! oh my god that was that's pretty trippy right there and he landed there so this head didn't work that's unfortunate but now we can move on to the final event or the main event of the freaking episode and that's gonna be double gold gauntlet Roman Reigns. Why did people tell me that I could not do it, Brad? Literally, it's so easy, okay? So look, I'm gonna show you how you do it. Everybody told me I couldn't do it. I guess because they thought that this side was gold too, but it's not, Brad. You literally pop, slide off the gauntlet, go over here, pop the gold gauntlet hand out, pop the gold gauntlet off, pop it over here, and then pop the hand back in there. And oh my God, Brad, if you look closely, You'll see two gold gauntlet Roman Reigns. How about that, Brad? I don't hear you now. Answer me. All right, now we can take a look at everything we did today here on WWE Action Figure Surgery. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's everything we did on Action Figure Surgery. Pretty good old football game, if you ask me, Brad. Let's start off with Kenyul Omega in the ghost-faced attire. Now, again, you could probably do this with a bunch of different superstars, but I figured, again, main event player on Vindication Elite Champion. I wanted to see if uh, you could put some guys in this, and it seems that it is possible. If you, you know, you may have to modify the peg hole or whatever on the head, but
but uh, that's pretty cool, man. I think that's pretty badass. I don't know why it's so damn saturated or, like, exposed. Okay, there it goes. It calmed down. That looks nice. I don't know. Maybe it's because of the black on the shirt. I'm going to leave my hand here just to try to get the thing to calm the hell down. Anyways, Kenny Omega looks really good. I like the way that looks. All right, there it goes. It's, it's faded back to normal now. I guess all black stuff, like, makes it really exposed or something. But here is the, is the glorious double gold gauntlet Roman that everyone said couldn't be done. Well, look at him now, Brad. Who's the head of the table now? Who is it? It's, it's still him. It's still Roman. But still, the gold gauntlets look sick AF. I really wish, like, if I could change the boots for gold boots or, I don't know, something. Something, I don't know. It's still cool. It's still badass to have the double gold gauntlets, but I had to do that switch. I wanted to see what it looked like, and I'm pretty damn impressed with it. I like the way it looks. Have zero issues with it. Head of the table looks pretty damn good to me. Moving on, Brad. MVP in the suit? Look how clean, man. You can't even really see the neck, so it doesn't really bother me. Now, is he a bit too tall? Maybe. Is he a bit too jacked, maybe? I don't know. I don't think it looks that bad, to be honest with you. That is a Vince McMahon body mold, and Vince McMahon's like 6'5", or something like that, which is crazy, but I like the way it looks. If you acetoned off the old WWE logo or the WWF logo that they modified, it could look good. I mean, it still looks sick AF. Like, for displays and photography, I think it would definitely work, but the MVP came out pretty good. Next up, guys, we do have Riddle or Matt Riddle. I don't call him Riddle. It's Matt Riddle, Brad. I'm not getting rid of the Matt. Looks great. I actually like this head sculpt on here. You guys can let me know down below which one you like more. I may switch it back. I don't know, but uh, I like the way it looks. It kind of gives me like that classic Matt Riddle feel. Not like, I don't know. You guys can let me know. I, I think the likeness to this Matt Riddle is better. I, I don't know what you guys think. That one, I like the expression. They just didn't nail it for me. And I like the darker brown hair for some reason. I don't know why. I've, I, I just feel that way. We also have Rey Mysterio with the red gloves. Hands are probably a bit oversized and the reds don't match, but you re you really can't tell, at least on camera. The black ties into the black there. It, it all works. I don't think it's terrible, but you definitely probably want to acetone the AJs off and the hands are a bit loose in there, not terrible but these gauntlets are also super loose so maybe you just want a loosey-goosey figure also, my torso's loosey-goosey so this figure is just all kinds of effed up the fix-up did turn out alright, even though he has massive hands, we also have our two Seth Rollins fix-ups, you guys can let me know which one you like down below, they're very similar, both kind of fantasy gears, both with smiling head sculpts you have the gloved gear, which kind of gives me like old school 2014 you know, Seth Rollins with the gloves but I like these hands on Rollins and the all black Black kick pads kind of, you know, really looks nice actually. Like if he had a pissed off head sculpt on there, uh, you may have something special going on there young man. I still think he does, but uh, you kind of have like a face and a heel dynamic going on, and I like this head sculpt. It's one of the better Seth Rollins head sculpts. Some call it the best one they've ever made, and you do have the uh, fantasy gear we've made before that looks really good there. And then last but not least guys, we do have Chris Jericho, and I went with the white sunglasses. I think they look the best. We also have black and gold. I guess I can go ahead and just, you know, show you all three options and you guys can let me know down below. I honestly think I like the, the white ones the best, but you guys can tell me down below which ones you like the most. So there is the white sunglasses. You have kind of like your standard black sunglasses, which I think could also work if you wanted it to. And last but not least, guys, you have the gold sunglasses. So you guys can let me know down below. I like all three. You know, they all have their ups and downs there, but I think I like the white the best because it ties into the white on the, on the cuffs there. But at the end of the day, man, pretty successful day of surgery. Not like a ton of heat and, and all that stuff, but it got the job done, man. It was it was a really good day here. I don't have any issues. I, I like it, you know, outside of a few loosey-goosey things. I think, uh, you know, all the things turned out right. If you guys did any of these swaps with me or, you know, you have any cool ideas for anything, let me know down in the comment section below, man. But that's going to wrap up Action Figure Surgery. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like uh, that Rey Mysterio torso. You cross the line. I've been